Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One. The third video I've made today on the uh, TRO Zones dashboard, part three, how to make money with it. What I've done is I've added another column, just what we all needed. The Bob breakout bars column. What you can do is you can come to the indicator. And now, because we have just a regular breakout, which is the previous bar, the breakout time column, which you can tell it what time, the bar time that you want to check the breakout for. Now I've given you the option to specify the number of bars. So you can turn the column on, and we can set this. Maybe we want to move it all the way to the left. So let's just say we want to move it to 20. So one is over here, and we want to move it over here. Okay, so then you come down, and you look at the breakout bars period. Let's look at the one hour, and let's use, well, we've got two. Let's do a three-bar breakout. Okay, and Nick, so you can see here we've got uh, pound dollar. We've got breakout three. One, two, three bars. It's broken out of the high of those three bars. Okay, now we've got the um, euro pound, and you can see here it's within the threshold amount, and I believe we've got two pip threshold. So it's within two pips of that amount. So that gives you a heads up. This means, hey, you, you missed it already happened it's breaking out this one is your heads up so that's high threshold um, if it was the on the other side the low on the bottom it'd be low threshold so that's the latest and greatest on this indicator uh, a few more cosmetic changes and just minor fixes nothing earth-shattering but really guys and uh, female traders, I would really like to hear some feedback, how you're using it. Uh, post a screenshot or share your template over on Crestlick.com. Uh, show people how you're using this indicator. Um, I think it's going to be a really good tool. I know for me, um, I'm just, I just sit here and I just wait for this column to fill up. And I'm just taking my trades. Um, actually, New Zealand dollar is getting close to that ATR zone again. So I'll probably be putting some shorts on. And see, I've already, uh, I, I think earlier, um, I think when I made the video, I think we were somewhere either here or here. And I got out, I think I made a handful of pips, five or six pips or so. Something like that. I was hoping, what I really wanted, I was hoping for it to, to come all the way back down to here, but that didn't happen. So I had exited part of the position and stuck a trailing stop on the rest. And so on this, uh, I think it was on this little updraft here, um, or maybe it was this one, it uh, took me out for a small profit. But that's how I trade it. That's how I'm making money with it. On the breakouts, like I just showed you, you have three different options. Uh, the 1400 hour, you can see here, that was a few hours ago. This, my time, this is the hour before New York opens. And there's a lot of action. Price just has to range out of that bar. Because when New York opens, we got all those traders wanting to trade. So, of course, um, the price is going to have to get out of that, that range. It's too narrow. During the New York session, you know, price is probably going to range 40, 50, 60 pips or more. Well, that those ranges are sometimes only 10, 15 pips. And you can't fit a 12-inch ruler in a 6-inch box. It's going to stick out one end, the other end or both just like the buy zone so in a way uh, this is you can think of this as a specialized buy zone where it uses the high and low of the bar as opposed to X number of pips from the open
but either way it they're effective uh, because there's only two types of trades if you watched my uh, video um, all you need to know about trading then you know there's either breakouts or their reversals it's just that simple right here price is either gonna break out of this bar or it's gonna reverse Th that's the only two things it can do it's either gonna break out or reverse eventually that's it so I mean trading really is simple uh, so many people like to complicate it and some people might think this is complicated but that's only because they don't understand it but once again you can change this make it to your liking real simple just turn those columns on and off by giving them a number and as somebody suggested I'll show it one more time because the trade columns always the first column here mainly because that's the way I wanted it to be um, and I didn't want to have to keep changing it as I added indicators and at the time the way I wrote this program is is that it processes that trade column last so if you selected a column and already calculated one of those um, data points or data sets I don't want to waste time and recalculate so that's why it it positions itself there it wasn't just arbitrary decision so you can come back up here and look at the column see trade columns either false turn for off or true for on so the guy said why put numbers that's confusing so once again I do listen and so you can see here we've got New Zealand dollar in the rat zone and it has exceeded the minimum ATR value and I was I think I've been over that in the earlier video don't want to bore you with the same lesson so there we have it we've got breakout bar we've got outside bar inside bar time bar and break out of the previous bar so see here I like to have the H4 because a lot of times if you switch over to H4 if you catch it right these are some pretty big bars so you see right here we're breaking out of the previous H4 bar that's what this one does okay so there you have it that's another way how you can make money with this indicator and of course this is for educational purposes only your results might be different blah 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 you guys know all that disclaimer stuff anyway as always fellow traders it's not what you trade it's how you trade it the rumpled one signing off